do a quick test here. Can you guys hear me all right? Cool. Uh, I'm going to do some introductions here first. So this is going to be a 12 game match between two really strong puzzle battlers. And they are Keiji Mayu, who is in my friends list. He's number one with a rating of 3043 so he's really up there and in terms of his world ranking he is um, he's already number 15th in the world in his um, puzzle battle rating and his challenger today is the young and talented uh, Mr. Tanitolua I hope I pronounced that right and um, he is the um, the 2019 K3 New York State chess champion so he won that championship at the age of eight and um, let me make sure that I got his last name here Tanitoluva Adewumi is that correct is that how you pronounce it Maybe that's correct, maybe that's wrong, but maybe I'll be corrected later on. But that's um, who we are going to see the match between. He's rated right now at 2886, but I've seen him go above 2900. So I'm really expecting this match to be a pretty exciting 12 game match of uh, Puzzle Battle. And. Whenever the players are ready, I'm ready. So let's go. Anytime now, the match should be starting. This is going to be interesting. All right, Gejimayu is almost here, says Tani. And match should begin anytime soon. All right, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let me ping Gejimayu. It's 
time to start. So once again, 12 game puzzle battle match between Geji Mayu, who is rated 3043 in puzzle battle, and the young Tani Tolua Adewumi, who is already up in the 2800s and almost sometimes gets into 2900 so this is gonna be awesome oh come on guys <laughs> don't make me wait on my own stream I am ready. Start the match. <laughs> I might have to edit this later on for YouTube. So I might do the introduction one more time as we as we um, go on with this match because I don't want to up upload all of this delay during the um, in the YouTube video. So And here we go. The match has started. And Tani Tolua in the lead. I'm just gonna call him Tani uh, for convenience sake. I don't know if he likes it, but um, maybe he can tell me later if he doesn't. Wow, Geiji Mayu is on nine already. What's happening? Why is Tani Tolua frozen? Bishop A4 check. Is he is he missing that really? Or is it a problem? No, he missed it. My God, that's a rough start already. Knight e2 check and mate. Keiji Mayu is on 15. That's a huge plus in the first round. Definitely a psychological advantage. 18 to 13. Now I'm following um, Tanya Tolua's board here. Queen a1 mate. Queen c2 and rook b8 and queen b2 is mate. Okay, he's catching up. 21 17 21 18 good takes takes king d4 rook gh and mate 23 20 rook takes takes on e1 and b6 is hanging check wow that was good that was really fast takes takes um yeah trades the queen and wins this is too fast to do commentary on but We'll review some of these puzzles later after this match is over. But right now, just let's just enjoy this um, display of skill. Knight takes g6, check on e7, and what? Oh, I think the 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 video didn't refresh that one. Rook takes, queen takes, queen rook takes. 35, 34 already. Very close. And I need to lower step on this one. Well, GF4, what, what, what else are you going to do? GF4. And knight G6. And queen E5 check and queen takes C3. Oh, he missed it. Bishop G5. Come on. Oh, my God. What's happening? Queen H3 and rook takes pawn. King takes and rook g2. Yeah, takes. Bishop f5. Wow. That was not a move that I. Oh, wow. He's crashed already. Geji Mayu wins the first round. I'm gonna 
open up some of these ones that they missed. One zero. And let's see if it refreshes automatically. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I'm going to save this link. doesn't refresh okay round two takes and now I'm seeing Geji Mayo's board here Queen's hanging Rook a4 no okay that sounds a good one Rook d8 check well here's no check Rook's hanging on g5 Queen takes d2 check and mate on e2. Rook e1 takes on d1 and mate. Bishop c4 and bishop e6 is a mate. f4 and the pawn runs through. Bishop takes e6. Whoa! That was unexpected. Wow. Queen takes e4, takes. Tani in the lead here, 25, 26. It's the old wise master Geji Mayu versus um, the young little warrior, Tani Tolua. So that's how I have um, advertised this match. So let's hope it um, stays true to its reputation. And thus far, these players are putting on a good show here. Tani has missed one puzzle. They've both missed one each in this round. Um, still very close. Gejimayu is pretty good towards uh, the end with the more difficult puzzles, um, which explains why he's rated above 3000. But Tani, Tani is not to be underestimated. It's pretty quick and he's pretty confident as far as I can tell and Geji Mayu misses another one this is Tani's game it should be six what a beautiful move there need to show that one Queen f6, King g8, Queen takes f5, Knight f2 check, can you see it, Knight f2 check, Rook, Queen takes f2, Queen takes, come on, and Queen takes b6, yep, uh, 10 seconds left and Greji Mayu strikes out, so it's 1-1 one, one already, that's awesome, which means we've got a fight, and it's not gonna... It's not going to be easy. Okay, let's see if this refreshes. No, it doesn't. I don't know why. But it doesn't auto refresh. Everything okay with the stream? Queen takes. Let's see if someone messages me here. What is it? Okay. Eighteen each. Whoa, Tani misses that one. And Rook C2 check, Tani, come on. Rook C2 check and Rook A8. Yep. And Rook G4 and the bishop is hanging. Queen G5, Queen D5, Rook A7. King takes and runs and grabs that pawn. Queen takes E5 and mate on G8. g4 wins the piece yep rook c6 knight a7 check takes queen c5 check check and wins queen takes e8 is forced isn't it 
Queen takes eight is forced. Yeah. Jake six, queen takes a one, yeah. Queen g4 check, we should be four, check on f6, takes the piece. Rook f7, queen g6, bishop c5 wins, yep. C2, C2 does it win? C2, yep, check and takes. Bishop f4 check and takes, yep. Bishop takes e3, then takes on e2, then the knight is hanging. That was too fast. Knight d6 check. And d6 check. Takes on e8 with the knight. Wow, that was too fast again. Check. Queen c2. Queen c2 or rook b8? No, I think queen c2. Queen c2. And rook d8 now. Rook d8 and queen takes d1, I think. Queen takes d1, I think. Whoa, just 10 seconds left. And Tony strikes out. So it's 2-1 it's for Geji Mayu in this 12-game match. Let's see if it refreshes. All right, takes and wins. Rookie one is mate. B four and takes. Yep. Queen f seven. Queen takes f two. Queen f one check. Takes takes and the bishop is hanging. Check and takes. Yep. Yeah h4 is a mate, check and takes, takes the rook, no, knight is pinned, yeah, but takes and takes on f3, knight takes e5, takes the rook, Tony in the lead here, King e6 and check and wins. Whoa. The h pawn was queening there, so you gotta watch that. d5, Gejimayu, yep. Queen h4 and wins that bishop. Rook e8 wins that bishop and wins. f4 wins the piece. Queen takes knight d3 and knight on b2. Takes on g4 and e5 and the pawn just runs. e3 check, is that a move? e3, yeah, e3 check. Knight e4 attacks the queen and wins. Well, rook takes d4 and knight takes b7. I don't see much else. Whoa, tiny missed one. Knight f7 check. One, yeah, knight eight six, rook g3 takes wins. Knight takes e3. Whoa! And 36 each. Wow. Tani has got just one strike left. And this one, he needs that desperately. And Gejimayu misses one again. So it's anyone's game now. And I'm sure the nerves are affecting them right now. Tani in the lead by three, that's a hard lead to overcome. Yes, I don't see Gejimayu winning this one. Great, great performance by Tani. Knight f6, nope, he strikes out, but Gejimayu is out of time. And he cannot get to 44. So it's 2 2. That's awesome. We've got a match. We've got a match. 
two two. Let's see if this auto refreshes. No, it doesn't. Who was it that said that the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? Maybe I should stop trying to um, see if uh, auto refresh works because it clearly doesn't. Queen A4 and takes. Wow, Tani is leading by four at this point. Rook H8 check. Knight F7. Yep. I think it's it's a, it's one of those combinations that even Alokhine missed in a, an important game, or whether it's important or not, I don't know. But uh, I'm pretty sure even Alexander Alokhine missed that one. C3 A3 and wins. Ah, my neck's gonna be tilted by the end of the stream. <laughs> Watching both boards here. Queen G7. I'm following Tani right now. Uh, Bishop C6 and wins. I think it's good to show why that's the case. Whoa, Geji Mayu. Uh, he's not gonna win this one either unless he can do something really brilliant at this stage. Because Tani is in the lead by 7. And he's not slowing down. Wow, 36 already for Gejimayu. He's catching up, but um, Tani is still keeping his pace going. Bishop e8. As long as he can keep that going, he will win this. But it's now it's getting close. 40. Already for Geji Mayu, he is, he is pulling this one back. 44 for Thani. And now he slows down, and so does Geji Mayu. Oh, he misses one. No, this is this is Thani's game. Rook f7, yep. And queen takes h6 and mate. Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's a problem at this stage in the battle. 47, that's amazing. I think that's his highest score ever. Um, and Geji Mayu strikes out. Wow, this is amazing. Tani wins. So it's 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Two, three for Tani. Tani is in the lead in this match. That's That's awesome. Let's not. Yep. Let's not try to be insane again. Takes on e5. Takes on e1. Again, for those of you who may have missed the introduction, or if I happen to clip this introduction for the sake of the YouTube video, uh, I should say that Geji Mayu is, well, at the time of this video, is ranked 15th in the world in his puzzle battle rating. And um, Tani Tolua is ranked somewhere. I think in the top 100, I'm not sure. But his reading at the time of this video was close to 2,900. But it's an extremely close match and this kid is improving day by day. So he might be 2,900 today. Five days from now, he might be 2,950. So it's hard to say what his real strength is because he's just improving, improving day by day. And um, I've been 
I played some battles against him and I think I still have a positive score against him but uh, I don't know if that'll last for a long time um, when I saw him I think two months ago he was rated like 2500 in puzzle battle already in two months he's close to 2900 so give him two months more and I don't know but what his rating is gonna be but um, that'll be interesting to see and as you can see he's already putting up a great show here against the 3000 rated Geiji Mayu um, Mr. Geiji Mayu is I think in his 40s he told me and he doesn't mind me sharing his age and um, again if I recall correctly he is um, he's he has been a teacher and I think he's still a teacher um, so let's see if he has some things to teach the young Tani in this match and it's still pretty even 43 43 so um, the old wise master versus the young lethal warrior is proving to be true to its reputation and Tani is stuck on this study Bishop takes a8 oh he strikes out and Geji Mayu wins I think Bishop takes a8 is the correct move there followed by Queen e4 I'll show that later but Geji Mayu wins this one so it's 3-3 Awesome, awesome, awesome match. Oh, gotta exercise my neck a little bit. In ID3, root D2 and mate. Bishop G3 is mate, wow. Yes, we saw that. He, I think he paused for a second. I think I need to show that mate. Tani in the lead, e7 and takes and wins, rook e1, queen e3, queen d4, whoa it just moved too fast there. takes and g4 and the knight is trapped f4 and g4 and check and wins the rook yep bishop b6 check rook c7 and rook takes c4 king f4 queen e7 and queen e8 Queen c4 takes takes Tani again leading by six now or five but can he keep this up queen takes knight a2 check and knight takes c3 whoa and both players missed one I mean at the same time one minute left or 50 seconds left and um, Tani is still going strong. 95 check. And come on, 95 check. Oh, he doesn't know this one, does he? Queen h6. Queen h6, come on. Yep, takes and queen h2 is mate. And Geji Mayu is stuck. I don't think he's winning this one. Tani in the lead by four. Whoa, I think he needs to keep his cool here, not strike out. And Geji Mayu strikes out, awesome. So Tani wins this one and takes the lead again. 3-4 is the score in, in this awesome puzzle battle match that we are seeing. It's quite amazing. Can they keep it up for the rest of the match? Still a long way to go.
I must say we are part of the Pro Puzzle Battle Team Club on chess.com. So if you would like to check our club, uh, please do. In order to qualify, I think the qualification is not that hard. You got to score, as far as I know, you got to score 40 in Puzzle Rush in three minutes. And you're in. These players, of course, doing 40 plus almost every round here. When that's the minimal requirement for our club membership. Queen d5 check, queen takes a8, hg4, check, knight f4, rook g1, takes and wins. Hmm. Queen takes b7, gauging Mayo, queen c6, yep. This one's not easy. Rook g4, bishop g7, that was not easy at all. Queen e6, yep. And Tani misses one. I think Gejimayu should keep his cool here and keep his nerve. Because objectively speaking, he is still the better player. Not by that much, but uh, he is still objectively the better player. So if he holds his nerve, I think that he might just manage to win this match. But I think the pressure is is telling on him right now because you see he's stuck here on this problem and he fails that one I don't think that Gejimayu when he's not under pressure would have missed that one and they and they both know that this is being streamed live so that adds to the pressure and I must say that I don't think that Tani has anything to lose in this match because Geji Mayu is supposed to win it. So I think that adds additional pressure on Geji Mayu to live up to the expectations. And that can be hard. And Tani strikes out and Geji Mayu should not strike out and he claims the win, which is the right thing to do in this situation. And the match is tied at 4-4. What an amazing show we've got here. Ah, uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing live commentary. What was I doing one month ago? Um, all right. Six each. And Tani has missed one already. Wow. Is that a mouse slip or pressure? We'll find out. Queen b4 takes. Queen takes e4. I think that last win should have given Gejimayu some bit of relief. Saying, all right, you might be a talented young guy, but I'm not here to just give away this match for free. So... Um, Mr. 2019 K3 New York State Chess Champion has, has quite an opponent here in this match and he's down two puzzles already so that's advantage Keiji Mayu um, whose first name is Michael as far as I remember and he likes he likes math tiny strikes out already so this is Geji Mayu's game to win and he does and does he claim the win or does he go on 
I think it goes on. I think, yeah, I think that's psychologically you want to win cleanly with uh, one extra point even if it's one. But that's a good boost for Geji Mayu. 5-4 in the lead now. So round 10, if Gejimayu wins this one, he ensures that he does not lose the match and then Tani will be playing catch up in the last two rounds. So this is really a must win round for Tani or he's going to be under extreme pressure in the last two games and also knowing that he cannot win this match. So let's see, let's follow Tani's board for a second. Rook g1, rook takes f7, queen f3 and mate, rook takes d8 and knight takes d6, rook e4 and the queen is hanging, takes takes check and rook c1, queen d5, knight c6 and e7 is hanging, rook takes, bishop takes e8 and knight f6 check wins the queen, rook takes on h4 and bishop d6 sets up a mate, Takes, 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 mate. Knight e6, queen g4 check, takes on d8, queen f7, and uh, queen d5. And I think just, wow, rook h I didn't even see the rook there. Um, queen f2 check, and knight b2, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Queen f7 and rook e4. Knight c7, knight takes a8, yep. Yeah. Rook b7, well that's too easy. And knight g5, knight f7 and takes, yeah. Rook g6 and takes the bishop. Takes on f8. Queen takes c2. Check on f1 and wins. Rook c6, queen e4. Tani in the lead. Gejimayu misses one, so that's good news for Tani. C4, does that work? C4? I think it does. And CB5, yep. Yeah. Takes. Check. Oh, not easy. Kejimayo on 39. Rook G4. Is that a move? No. Wow, this is tough. Kejimayu takes the lead. Anthony strikes out. Oh my god. Three in a row. That's bad. That must be crushing for the spirits of the young kid. But good show, my friend. 6 4 for Gejimayu. So Gejimayu ensures that he doesn't lose this match. I think psychologically, that's a great boost for him. And now he's got two games left to, to win this tightly contested match. So round 11, Tani has to win this to avoid defeat. No more pressure on Geji Mayu. He has shown why he is the stronger player. But again, it's not over yet. Three, rook b8 takes bishop f5, win the queen, queen g5 and mate, um, b3 and pawn goes through. Check and mate, b3 again and wins. Take on e5, check, that was too fast. Rook h3 and mate, rook h, whoa, rook f7, wow. Hmm, rook f7. Because you can play bishop f5 and stop the mate, though he loses his queen. I, I, I think these, these are... Or just bishop takes h3. Yeah, bishop takes h3 probably. Things are not looking good here for Tani. Take 
6 check when you fire takes on c4 gauge my yep comfortably in the lead tani is stuck trying to catch up still three puzzles behind knight takes check queen takes g6 bishop h2 check check and wins the rook queen takes h5 rook g4 takes on g6 takes 96 yep a5 yep. rook takes e5 and f6 yep h7 rook h1 yep 39 all right bishop g2 queen e4 come on come on i think he he is nervous at this point he's normally much faster than the rook f4 bishop f4 come on move 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 king g1 yes Queen h4, bishop g4. Bishop g4. No, you, you gotta move, kid. You gotta move. Um, okay, Jimayu misses one. Oh my god, that was a sad miss at the end, and that's over. It's game over. Oh my god, that's painful. Well played, sir. Well played. Well played, lad. 7 4 for Geji Mayu. But great show, great show by Tani. Last round. Who's going to win? I think they both want to win this one. Because it doesn't feel good to lose the last round. Uh, you want to go home not only knowing that you've won uh, for Gejimayu, but also knowing that hey the last round i won the last round so your last memory of that event is a pleasant one tani in the lead here queen a4 check and wins queen takes g6 let's follow Gejimayu for a second uh bishop takes e3 rook takes Queen a4 and mate takes on g6. Queen g4 and the rook is hanging. Bishop takes d4 and the knight's lost. Queen e1. Tani misses one. Knight takes g5. Yeah. Tani in the lead by four. Bishop g5 takes. Bishop b2 is mate. Takes, takes, rook b8. Knight e4, knight d6 and wins the queen. Rook e6, knight d5. Come on, Geji Mayo. Yeah. Knight d3 takes the queen. Knight takes d4. Check and wins. Yep. Knight f6. Queen h5 and queen takes e8. Bishop f7 and queen takes b3. Uh, bishop takes c3 and queen g5. d3 and takes the bishop on b2. And queen d7 takes. Queen takes d3. King f2 hg and the pawn goes through. What's Tani doing? He's stuck. He is stuck. Oh, queen takes g2. Queen takes knight e3 and, and rook f2 and mate. Wow. And rook f5 and rook, g, rook f5. Come on, kid. Oh my god, he misses that one. Oh. Queen c4. Oh, he's lost. He lost that one. Wow. All right. Good show. Good show by the young lad. He put up a good fight. Gejimai wins 8-4. An amazing contest. But the old wise master has won. And the young lethal warrior still has many wise lessons to learn from this match. I think this, this has been a thoroughly entertaining match. And now I'm going to review some of the puzzles here. So the final score is 8-4 for Geji Mayu. Well done, sir.
and well done Tani Toloa Ade Rumi if I'm pronouncing that right great show and let's have a review of uh, some of the puzzles that they missed alright I'm gonna try to solve these myself so so you get an idea of um, the difficulty level of these puzzles so bishop c6 well isn't rook c8 just winning now he throws in bishop e4 but the rook is protected by the queen so knight takes e4 should win all right yes this is what i was screaming for gf4 knight g6 queen e5 check and queen takes c3 okay and here bishop g5 of course and knight f6 and knight d7 so knight f6 if you had gone king d8 then queen e8 was checkmate oh thank you we uh, i need to move my um camera a video whoops so that you can see the whole world thanks there for that feedback i i would have otherwise um covered the board <laughs> as i'm as i'm showing you can you see it now i'm pretty sure you can see it now uh thanks there elliot for pointing out that mistake so yes knight d7 check and that's mate right bishop a4 check and you block it and you block it again now he attacks your rook so bishop e6 check check and the problem ends but i think the point here is if king g8 and then rook f6 check protects this bishop and then you grab this bishop for free and this is where i thought rook a4 was correct for some reason but i was completely wrong because bishop c4 check is correct and now opens the attack of this rook on the queen and you are up two pieces or you you have two pieces for a rook and you're winning Elliot chess says rook g7 check instead of rook f6 but doesn't that simply lead to a repetition after king f8 no it doesn't because rook g8 wait hmm I don't have that problem with me right now but uh, you'll have to see that one this is where I was screaming for bishop takes e6 um, rook g8 king e7 my friend no Gejima you played king f7 but that leads to knight d8 check and that's losing so bishop takes e6 is correct because now if queen takes h6 then king takes f7 and wins see Elliot I can blindly solve puzzles oh, I'm just I'm just kidding everyone can these days um all right so what's the point here well this bishop is hanging oh so queen takes g5 simply and wins that hanging bishop and now rook's hanging so rook takes c8 okay this is beautiful tani instantly played bishop b6 which is an amazing move and then followed it up with rook takes e8 and queen takes i think it's good to show this on the analysis board because if uh, if rook takes d7 then rook takes e8 check first and then grabs the queen on the next move and if queen takes b6 or a takes b6 doesn't matter rook takes e8 check wins um, the exchange so that's the beautiful point of that move bishop b6 King h6, and I think Tani missed this one. I think the solution here is rook g3, which cuts off the king on this line, and now rook h1 is checkmate. And that's that. Someone missed this one? Yeah, okay. Queen c2, and then rook d8 piling up the pressure. And I think queen d1 was the move I was screaming for, yes. And now queen takes e2 check, and this bishop is hanging at the end. You gotta um, see some other lines there. King f1, 
Well, first of all, why doesn't he move the bishops a to c3? Well, he can, you can take the queen here. And after rook takes queen, rook d1 is just winning. So that's the bishop still pinned the queen. And the sad thing for white is that this bishop's also pinned to this rook. Well, not immediately, but it's going to be after a move like king f1. So the point of king f1 was that now this queen is protected. So if let's say black plays a waste move like h4, then white can play bishop c3 because now queen takes e2 is met by king takes and uh, there is no disaster for white. But black simply adds to the pressure by playing rook e to d8 and now this bishop is pinned on this file and there is no, there's no escape. He tries bishop g5 hitting this rook and now the trick is if rook takes d1 then white's uh, black's queen is hanging but if black simply moves the queen away like this then bishop takes d8 and black wins uh, white wins so what can black do he can play queen takes e2 but then again king takes e2 and it's just a completely equal position so the correct move is queen takes d1 the point, of course, if rook takes d1, then rook takes d1 is check, and there's no escape, so he has to play maybe queen e1 or queen takes d1, but then that's just winning. And if he plays queen takes d1, then again, rook takes d1, and if bishop takes d8, then rook takes d8, and you win the exchange. And the same thing happens if you play bishop takes d8 first, then you first tra trade queens here, and then you grab the bishop and you're up in exchange or you're up a piece okay e3 and uh, the queen's hanging so you can't just play a move like rook takes f3 so what can you do knight g4 check but then well knight g4 actually yeah knight g4 and queen takes g4 now threatening mate and look at this queen h3 check and queen g2 so you kind of did a zigzag uh, pattern there with the mate so this is this is beautiful because we already have this line this g file protected by this rook so this king is already in some sort of trouble and the only piece standing in the way is this bishop on h3 so knight g4 check forces that trade because if he doesn't take if he goes king h1 then rook takes h3 is a free piece so now queen takes g4, threatening queen h3 mate, and there's nothing he can do about it. So queen here and here. It's uh, good to show this on the analysis board. Check. If king h1 then takes, uh, takes here, and wins. So he has to take, but then queen takes g4, now threatening queen h3 and mate. If he tries knight g1, well, it stops queen h3 but doesn't stop queen h4 because the knight was protecting against queen h4 in the previous turn and that's checkmate okay and this is where i think tani played b1 queen and forgot about this pawn that's running um so the correct move should have been rook h1 check b1 queen and Queen takes h7. Okay, this is simple. Rook takes d4. I think this is just a blunder by white. Bishop d4, what is he trying to do? Because just takes, and it's two pieces for a rook. Now he throws in rook b7. I don't know why, but knight takes b7 simply, and queen takes. And um, white, black has, I think in the original position, one, two, three, four. Black was down a piece. So white tried bishop d4 trying for some trick or maybe he thought that the queen could be captured, but that was just wrong. Okay, I think here, yeah, I, I said knight takes e3. I think Geji Mayu played knight takes d4, but knight takes e3 is correct. And now simply queen takes d4 and that wins. Why would you play a move like knight takes d4? I can't see the idea. I think he probably thought knight b4 threatening mate but then simply long castles not mate threatening check and also threatening this bishop but long castling solves both problems 
and knight takes if knight takes c6 then knight takes c2 check first and then grabs this knight so that's the point so he has to take but then simply queen takes not knight takes d4 because then he long castles and now your knight spinned to the queen and it's going to be uncomfortable protecting this knight with a move like bishop c5 queen e5 so that's the point Bad for Life has written a message to you in the Puzzle Battle Club. Let me quickly check that one. <laughs> Could you do a blog article here about chess revelation streams, maybe with the links and so on? Okay. Um, yes, I wanted to show this. Bishop c6. I think this is better on the analysis board because Bishop d2 is just a rubbish move that doesn't prove the point of the problem. Uh, but bishop c6 attacks this knight. So what's the most obvious response? This knight has to move. He can't go to a5 because the rook's going to take it. He can't go to d6 or d8. So knight c5 is the most obvious response because it's protected here by the pawn on d4. Uh, but now the point is bishop takes c5, dc5. And now you see this line? d4 check opens up this bishop and the king moves away and bishop takes h1 wins the rook. So that was the point which unfortunately um, the computer that generated this puzzle I assume didn't want to or couldn't fathom that it should demonstrate that. Uh, if a human had made this puzzle I'm sure he would have entered knight c5 as the move so that we can prove the point of the combination with uh, bishop c6 but the computer simply chooses a lame bishop d2 move and then bishop b7 just wins the piece. Okay, d6, and now he's threatening queen b6 check, so you gotta watch that. So if you play a move like queen takes e4, well, then you, you'll say thank you very much, queen b6 check, and then your queen's hanging with the rook on e1. So what else can you do? You can play bishop takes e4. Well, if he throws queen takes, then just of course, this is again ridiculous computer move but um, the point was if queen takes e4 then queen b6 check and if king here then takes the queen and if king here then just mate so the point is bishop takes e4 avoids that uh, queen being lost because now king e8 and the queen's not in danger this bishop's protected and there is no tricks on the e-file because um, black can simply play a move like f5 next move and strengthen that bishop and that should be uh, curtains for white okay g6 and you already see that this bishop's loose and so is this knight for that matter so knight takes e5 and knight f3 attacks both the queen and the bishop and the queen is going to have a tough time protecting this bishop because after king h8 well he lets this bishop drop for free but the point was that if whoops if queen e2 let's say protecting this guy then queen g5 check was the point now a double attack on this bishop and it is lost so the computer instead chose to play h6, um, but I, that's that's not the main point. King f4, and uh, well, queen f3 check, rook h5 check, bishop e8 check, and wins because if king g7, then queen f7 is checkmate. Oh, they both missed this. Well, okay, bishop takes e4. Remember that next time. Yes, rook d6 check, rook takes f6 check, and then rook takes a6, and the c-pawn runs through, because the rook's not in time to, to uh, stop that pawn. Okay, bishop takes d5. Yes, rook takes d5, e d5, bishop takes d5 check, and this is extremely difficult. Um, if you haven't 
studied this problem before. But here you just have to take the exchange and then watch this pawn on g6. It's pinned because the rook's hitting um, the king on h8. So queen e4 hits the pawn on g6 as well as the rook on a8 would just move to f8 and then queen takes g6 and h7 is is hard to defend so that's the incredible point of this puzzle moving on gh3 and i think gejimayu or tani played bishop f3 check here but bishop takes h3 check is correct and is there more than a draw here probably bishop g2 check well the puzzle puzzle stops but i'm pretty sure you can have bishop takes um e4 in that line or bishop f3 doesn't matter now it's check and there is no defense to this uh, threat queen b6 and the knight is hanging so why didn't he take that the last turn well you're not you don't want to ask yourself such questions in puzzle battle because you waste a lot of time but knight c4 attacks that queen and if queen takes b5 then a4 attacks the queen again the queen is running out of squares and bishop d2 finally traps the queen and wins the game knight g e2 and uh, gejimayu took a second or two to realize that hey this knight is actually pinned to its king with this rook on e8 so bishop takes on g3 check is actually checkmate all right king c1 yes queen this is um a very instructive technique because you wanna you wanna box this king in into this um, um region or box if that's what you call it because if you play, play a move like queen c4 he'll he'll go to king uh, d2 and then he'll escape out of this trap but queen f4 check ensures that uh, rook d2 is played and now it takes away an additional square from the king because now if queen c4 now he cannot play queen rook c2 check because of queen c2 mate so he has to play king d1 and now thanks to this knight covering this square queen f1 check is actually checkmate queen takes and uh, queen b8 check is not the right move okay so i i missed that one too i think the point here is simply rook e4 and uh, if he had taken the pawn i would have played rook e8 check so he plays queen h5 stopping that idea but now the rook is hanging on c7 so queen b8 check and queen takes c7 and wins king here and then check and check and check and queen h2 check is mate wow i think they both missed this one but check check and mate f3 Well, rook b2 attacks the queen, and the queen is overloaded because the queen has to protect this rook on, e, on e1. So rook b2, and he throws in bishop g3, but simply queen takes g3, and queen takes e1 is winning. Yep, he also missed it, rook e4, and check takes and wins. Now bishop d4 is a free pawn, but do I have anything more than that? Well, oh my god. Queen e3 check and the rook is hanging. And now of course queen f4 check so that you take this. Yeah, Elliot saw that. Um, take the queen or take the rook with check. Wow, I, I can't believe I missed it, and I can't believe Gejimayu or Tani missed this one. Um, but such is the nature of these puzzles. Queen h4. 
and rook g4 attacks the queen and the queen is running out of squares because if queen h3 now then rook g1 check and wins the queen on h3 so he's forced to play queen takes f6 but then bishop g7 and the queen is indeed trapped as you can see and now he throws in knight c5 but bishop takes f6 and wins that extra piece okay king over there and what's the point here rook takes well he's threatening queen d1 mate so i gotta watch that rook h7 is a move and if king g8 then bishop f7 check takes here then bishop e6 check and wins the queen i think that's the point bishop f7 bishop e6 and takes tani says tani is in the chat he says i found the queen f1 thing which queen f1 thing is he talking about oh that one where the rook was boxed i see so Tani didn't miss that one. He wants to correct me that, hey, don't say that I missed a problem when I didn't. So, well, he's right. I shouldn't make myself look like a genius compared to these other two extremely talented players. King h7, yep. And now discovered check on the king with bishop e6 check. And whoops, the queen is lost. Rook g6, and this is a hard problem to solve. Uh, but I think the point here is simply rook f7 and rook f8 and queen f7 is mate. And Gejima, you missed this one. And they both missed this one. But uh, rook h7, check, takes, and wins as we have seen. Here, um, Again, these endgame studies are really difficult. Knight f2 check, e4 check, what now? Knight, probably g4 check, yep. And bishop e3 check. And yes, now I remember this incredible move, bishop c5, which forces a zugzwang. And now knight e5 check and takes is winning. Uh, why does it force a zoops on? Let's see. Bishop c5, and what's black going to do? White is threatening knight f2 check and mate. He cannot take on e4. If he takes on e4, then knight f6 check and wins the queen. But then what else can he do? He's, he's got no other way of defending against um, knight f2 check. Maybe he tries queen f7, but then knight f2 check anyway. It's protected by the bishop. So if queen takes, then bishop takes, and it's it's a clearly one end game so instead he chooses to take on c5 and knight e5 check is a fork and wins the game bishop g5 and uh, no threats here right because the rook's protecting that so simply c7 and if bishop e3, then I just calmly play king h1, I think. Yeah, you have to play king h1, otherwise you're allowing queen h3 check. And now uh, queen b5 check and e5 is hanging. And that's the end of the puzzle. Okay. What? How many times am I going to see this one? Or did they miss it multiple times? in different puzzle battles well that's that's one of the sad things you, you don't have enough time to start reviewing the mistakes you've made you have to play 12 games in a row so if you're unlucky the same puzzle shows up in multiple battles and if you're even more unlucky your opponent has solved that before <laughs> so you always lose that one while he gets a free point on that one okay so what's this one bishop e3 and now Queen takes b1 is possible, but first we throw in knight f3 check, or we don't. And sometimes uh, trying to grab a tempo um, can actually be detrimental. Why not? Queen, yeah, because king d1, queen takes b1, and then he's got bishop c1, I'm pretty sure. That's the, that's the point there. Whoops. Where's my um, analysis board? 
Yeah, queen b1, king d2, and knight f3 is just mate. But if you throw in knight f3 first, thinking you're winning a tempo, then king d1, queen b1, and now he blocks with bishop c1, protected by the king. And yes, you have a check here, but then, oh, you don't even have the check there. You may have a check here, but then he plays uh, king e2, and now the bishop is protected by the rook. So sometimes tempo moves don't work in your favor. Queen takes b1, takes, and now it's mate. Pawn takes, and um, well, queen check, and takes here with check, and queen takes h4 is checkmate. King here, and someone missed this while. King g5, and h5, and king takes f5, and this pawn is going to be lost. And so is the game. Um, b4 check, knight takes, bishops lose, rook g6 check, king's away, knight takes c5, and wins. King c6, this is not an easy one. Bishop, e1 check. And what do you do now? He's threatening mate. So it may help you to trade off one of these rooks and then your extra pawns will will win easily. So how are you gonna trade rooks? I think by rook e3 check and rook e2 check trades off one of these rooks and your pawns are just queening. King here and now queen eight's not possible because of queen here so, <clears throat> aha, queen d5 check, is that a move? No, but he's got, he's got queen h1 and stuff. Hmm. Queen d5, king has to go to f8. And I go rook e4, but then he goes queen here. Then I go king g3. That's my that's my move. Yep. And then rook e4. I don't see anything else. And queen takes. Yeah. Wow, that's not an easy problem. Queen d5 check. King f8. And rook e4. And after a move like queen g1, simply king e3. And there's no more checks. And this king is is extremely vulnerable. And queen d8 check is coming. Even queen d6 or moves like that and it's over on there but then queen a4 and threatening to promote so he trades queens now he stops that pawn but bishop takes b3 and this extra pawn will easily win the game because white will simply play bishop a4 and bishop c6 and knight cannot take that bishop and then he promotes the pawn and wins Okay, rook g8. And yes, this is where I was looking at rook h3, but I think the point there is he can simply take on h3 and then take on g2. Rook f7 instead, and there's no taking on g2, and now the queen is indeed hanging for free. Aha, that was a beautiful point. If um, rook h3, then bishop h3, then he takes on g2, King has to go to g1, and it's under fire from this rook. Discover check with bishop takes e4 and takes the queen. So let's look at that. Uh, rook h3, bishop h3, queen c6, bishop g2, king g1, and now bishop takes e4 is a discover check on the king, and the queen is lost. Wow. Uh, rook d5 check. No, not rook d5 check. Queen d2 check, rook e8 check, queen d5 check, rook e7. Tani, I saw him do all this hard work, but now I think he he played queen takes c6 and he striked out. But looks like the correct move here is queen a2 check. Oh, he says he made a mouse slip. Well, I got to trust him. Or should I trust him? I don't know. Maybe he's making it up. 
<laughs> and Elliot, Elliot's not believing him. <laughs> and uh, Queen B3 and Rook E5. Really? Wait, Queen B4. Queen B4 and Queen D4 is made. Wow, that's that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Queen D2, check, check, check. Now this rook is free, but he's got queen D1 check. So watch that. Check, 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 and mate. Wow. Bishop E6. And simply takes here. Because we've got this rook uh, under fire. So just take this guy. Drag the queen out now play queen c3 because now he's threatening queen takes c1 so queen c3 protect our queen and it's the end of the puzzle because there's no way that he can protect his own queen and on and solve the problem of this rook at the same time so it's lost if queen takes then simply knight takes and the rook is lost and if knight c6 then bishop c6 check and wins okay queen here and check is this just a perpetual check problem? Queen e6 check, check. Cause yeah, I don't see I don't see any checkmate here. King c8 and queen e6 and just back and forth, and perpetual check. Oh, they both missed it. Wow. Check, 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 and just perpetual. And here's where I was screaming for rook f5 because that threatens rook f5 will threaten the queen and also this bishop on d5 so he has to take this queen but then rook takes g4 simply comes with check and then the d5 bishop is dropping anyway Tani says I was playing too fast yeah well, you have to do that if you're playing Gejimayo <laughs> or, or you're gonna lose anyway so um, and again here I was screaming for queen c4 but Tani played queen e2 but that's a point, pointless move because f2 is protected by this bishop on f2 and the rook on d1 is also protected by this queen on d6 so queen c4 instead queen c4 instead attacks not only this bishop because of the double attack but it also attacks this rook so queen c4 and he saves the rook but queen c5 and rook c5 and black wins well so i hope you have um enjoyed this coverage and they're pushing me to do a review of another small match if uh, if i want to have a look at tani versus elliot but i think i think i'll call it a day guys um it's been a it's been a great uh, show and I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I look forward to more uh, such puzzle battles in the future and looking forward to um, enjoying them as well. Thanks guys.